Tesla reveals new billion-dollar mega factory. Tesla has finally given us a glimpse inside its mega pack production mega factory in Lathrop, California, after just over a year of radio silence. Tesla's largest energy storage solution, the Megapack, is intended for grid-scale energy products. These energy storage devices can control renewable energy produced by solar and wind installations and support conventional power grids during periods of peak demand. A small city can be powered by a Megapack installation the size of a Walmart parking lot for several hours. We haven't seen anything from this plant since it began construction in September 2021 until Tesla posted a video on their LinkedIn page on October 25th. A functioning production plant is shown in the film, which is quite an accomplishment after only one year. We don't have a lot of information on how operational the Mega Factory is, and it's obvious the video is promotional. Do you recall the vintage battery footage day of the 4680 production line spewing out thousands of battery cells as if it were simply flying? Two years later, they're still having trouble getting it right, but if the rumors are true, Tesla can produce 25 of the Megapack units, which are the size of shipping containers, per day. For comparison, a single Megapack has a capacity of more than 3,870 kilowatt hours in its four-hour configuration. That is roughly 51 models in terms of their 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. Therefore, producing 25 mega packs is the equivalent of producing more energy storage than 1,200 models worth. Not too shabby for a factory that is only a year old. Up until this point, Tesla's Giga Nevada facility only produced mega packs and Powerwall devices. But as a result, the company's ability to produce energy storage products over the past year was only about 4 gigawatt hours, far less than Elon Musk's goal of 40 gigawatt hours. With over 37 job postings emerging on their website around that time, Tesla started stepping up hiring for their mega factory back in September. This appears to have been part of the plan, as usual. In the past year alone, new Megapack projects have begun construction or are in the planning stations in Hawaii, Texas, California, New Mexico, and Nevada. In addition to the new facilities being built around the United States, ongoing projects in Australia were also demonstrating their value. Other nations were beginning to pay attention, or in Slovenia's case, they were beginning to grow. The nation of Eastern Europe is a part of the vast global energy network that stretches all the way from Norway to Turkey. Due to the extensive interconnection of this grid with its neighbors, any breakdown along this line would affect the entire service. However, a local energy business by the name of Engen started establishing tiny megapack hubs to decentralize the entire system back in 2019. This kind of grid-scale battery backup was a first for the Balkans. And it appears to have been successful since a second, larger initiative followed in 2020 and a third has just been announced by Engen. The company will have a total capacity of roughly 60 megawatt hours to support the system. It's ironic that the Balkans, known for their oil production, would shortly receive large battery assistance. However, the Megapack is excellent for decentralizing the load and supporting existing grids. Therefore, not everyone in the nation is in the dark during a blackout. It explains why Southern Australia is prospering. After they successfully implemented their approach using a virtual power plant program, Hawaii was eventually able to abandon coal power thanks to the widespread deployment of megapacks. The demand for these systems is increasing incredibly quickly. Tesla may therefore assist in the establishment of two or three significant battery farm projects annually and free up important space at Giga Nevada for other projects to produce 40 megawatt hours annually out on the mega plant in California. Strong energy networks can be achieved by combining this with power walls and solar for individual homes. Without a doubt, we hope to see more from this mega factory shortly. Speaking of Tesla energy, since Hurricane Fiona devastated the East Coast in September, reports from owners of power walls have been pouring in. Many of those owners noted that the subsequent power outages were easily handled by their systems. But Puerto Rico statistics, where more than 44,000 houses were kept running for an average of five days, are the most astounding. Hurricane Maria devastated the island during the 2017 blackouts, virtually wiping out the local electrical grid. Puerto Rico went to Tesla after receiving little assistance from the U.S. because the company is keen to show that its energy products could be helpful in this specific circumstance. After five years, Tesla has continued to erect power walls despite the island seeing additional storms and its power infrastructure continuing to experience difficulties. 
Some users were able to maintain electricity more frequently since many of the power walls in Puerto Rico are also connected to solar panels. This is a fantastic example of how to employ emergency battery systems in Puerto Rico. There is no information on whether the island is thinking about building a virtual power plant like those in Australia and Hawaii, but once the storm season is over, the locals may take a look at these results and decide to network a little. It's good to know that Tesla isn't the only operator on the island. The more organizations and individuals recognize the value of battery storage devices for developing decentralized power networks, the better. After all, the storms won't stop for a while. Cracking branches and downed trees have announced Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin's upcoming significant expansion. The equipment moving towards the open area for the following Giga Phase A, little less than the original 220 acres that were cleared when the original plant opened, roughly 170 acres of woodland were cleared as part of Berlin's development. Tesla owns a total of over 740 acres of property, which was covered in a pine forest that was developed originally for the production of cardboard. The destruction of such a significant area of trees infuriated local environmental groups, but Tesla prevailed in court and promised to plant new trees to make up for the loss of the pine plantation, even though it is already scheduled to be felled for cardboard. Tesla is moving forward with this next significant expansion because it has addressed all the environmental concerns, at least to the satisfaction of the Brandenburg government. The only remaining query is what will be constructed there. Giga Berlin recently obtained permits for an expansion that includes a freight depot train station, a kindergarten, and several logistics areas to support the increased production that is undoubtedly on the way. As we all know, Tesla is constantly looking to increase production. The best guess for what will be constructed on this 170-acre site is that. But we also need to keep in mind that Tesla intends to start and increase battery production at Giga Berlin. So that's another option. And who knows if they stack things effectively, maybe they could fit everything in this building. Whatever the case, tree removal indicates that development will begin. Following the installation of utilities and other underground equipment, we'll probably observe the foundations being built. Since Tesla is becoming increasingly proficient at this, it shouldn't be more than a few months before we can go into more detail about this new facility. The battery partner Panasonic has revealed that they will start construction on their new North American facility in Kansas as early as this month, so Tesla is not the only company growing. The Japanese corporation has been selling batteries to Tesla through Giga Nevada, but next year we'll see a significant increase in output by Tesla and nearly every other EV-capable company. Panasonic wants to have a head start on the competition. The battery manufacturer put Kansas on the list of potential locations for its big manufacturing back in July. And once the plant has completely ramped up by 2025 at the latest, the initial objective is to generate around 30 gigawatt hours' worth of 4680 battery cells for Tesla. Although three years may seem like a long time, none of us can build new factories as quickly as Tesla, and even if the company is working to bring battery production in-house, they will undoubtedly require assistance if their growth estimates come true.